conflict within a group is inevitable. There are ways, however, that you can work with the other members of your group to deal with the conflict so that it does not lead to resentment or spur future conflicts. There are generally considered to be five different ways that people respond to conflict. 1. Forcing. Using formal authority to satisfy your concerns without regard to the concerns of the party that you are in conflict with. 2. Accommodating. Allowing the other party to satisfy the concerns while neglecting your own. 3. Avoiding. Not paying attention to the conflict and not taking any action to resolve it. 4. Compromising. Attempting to resolve a conflict by identifying a solution that is partially satisfactory to both parties, but completely satisfactory to neither. 5. Collaborating. Cooperating with the other party to understand their concerns and expressing your own concerns in an effort to find a mutually and completely satisfactory solution. Win-win. In most situations, you will want to encourage the group to use a collaborative approach to managing a conflict to achieve a productive outcome. If the conflict is related to differences in opinion about the direction of the group or program strategies, refer to some of the techniques described in the decision-making section to help the group to collaborate better together on collective decisions. If the conflict is more personality-driven, in the handout section, there are some strategies you can use to help resolve conflicts effectively.